Welcome to topic 3.4.2 on modifying and editing tables. So if you go back to the table we created last time, we do have a few options for modifying for editing. So we could do that sort, that's what we had here for it. We could sort by color, although we just have used the default table colors. So we don't have anything that is permanently assigned to that cell. More useful is instead of filtering by values, we can filter by conditions, such as, you know, the text contains Jane. And if we filter by that, all we get is the row that says Jane Austen. You'll notice our little triangle has become a filter. That shows you the data is in place. We could disable the filter up here. If we go back to clearing these and just saying Herbert, that's our only option. Now we could say Herbert and Jane, and it'll start to bring the Jane Austen in. Again, if we click up here, or if we manually undo it with select all, then we can actually remove the filter. Uh, in that case, be careful if you click the remove, remove filter up here, it actually turns that filtering capability off instead of just filtering it. So we do want to have our filter in place. For that, we just want to either clear, select all, somehow manually adjust it. And you can search for what we're looking at here. For example, we can start searching for Mary and it will find her. You can also modify it by going back to our alternating colors formatting and changing it from our default. We can have a footer style so we have a clear picture of what's at the end of the table. And we can even do custom styles with headers, the alternating colors, and the footers ourselves. So we can take this nice, pretty default output and make it utterly hideous just because we can.